Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to share 8 cards that I created featuring the new products by my favorite things. So let's start with the first card and I'm starting with this adorable little girl who is holding the little bunny. I'm going to stamp the girl and a few of the eggs. At this stage I didn't know exactly how many eggs I'm going to need, so I have a bunch there just to be safe. I used my alcohol markers to do the coloring and now I am uh, adding a little bit of inking on this panel. Actually this panel is uh, cut out by using the new dies, the Ellen and uh, border dies. And um, as always you will find links to everything I used down below in the description area. I'm adding a, a little bit of Broken China Distress Oxide ink and I'm not going to cover up the whole panel. Instead I'm going for an ombre look, so most of uh, the blue is going to be on one side and fading out to white. I have also used uh, some uh, dyes to cut out the grass and these are um, dyes by my favorite things from a previous uh, release. So I'm trying to decide where everything is going to go and then I'm going to stick everything down. I have two strips of grass for my card and I'm going to place one behind the other just to have a few layers and um, this is where I'm going to tuck in all those eggs. So I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess and then with some tape adhesive I'm going to stick the second strip of grass just behind. For my little girl I used foam squares at the back to have some dimension and now I'm going to tuck in all those little eggs. I decided not to use the green egg just because it was bl blending too much with the green grass and it didn't show as much as I wanted. In the same stamp set as the little girl there are a few sentiments. I went with Happy Easter and I'm going to stick this label on top of my panel. I'm going to cut off the excess and my main panel is ready. Uh, all that's left to do is to stick a couple of clouds that I have cut out. I'm going to stick this on top of some pattern paper from my favorite things in yellow and then I'm going to stick the whole thing on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And you can see here a close-up photo of my card. Every time I finish one of the cards you will see a photo but you can also go to my blog or at the end of this video where you will see all the cards together. For the next card I'm using the stamp set that's called Pressed Flowers and uh, I'm going to ink up some of the flowers here. At this stage I didn't know exactly how many flowers I need and if I'm going to use leaves etc. So I'm just um, stamping a bunch of things and then I will be able to mix and match whatever I have. This stamp set is a layering stamp set which means that there are different layers for each flower that you stamp one on top of the other. Instead of using all the layers for these flowers I just used two of them for each one and uh, if you notice I'm using two different inks for every one of the flowers so a lighter and a darker version. And um, I will work with yellow flowers and pink flowers. I'm going to create some lilac ones as well as some blue ones. I'm uh, switching from uh, one flower to another just to have a variety, but of course you can uh, use just one shape if you want to. And once I feel that I have enough flowers for my card, then I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out everything. So this is where I'm running everything through my Big Shot. And I will end up having a bunch of flowers that uh, I think I didn't end up using all of them. Now I have created this frame by using the new uh, elegant rectangle dies and uh, I'm also going to use one of the pattern papers and uh, I'm going to cut this out to be a standard card size that's four and a quarter by five and a half so this panel is going to cover up my card completely. Now I'm going to add some foam tape at the back of my frame and of course the, the exact same construction could um, turn into a shaker card. However, I'm not going for a shaker card now. I'm just going to add um, foam tape at the back to add some dimension on my frame. Now I can stick this frame on top of my panel and if you notice this card is actually the, the negative of the card that I made previously. So here you see I'm using the negative space while before I used the positive one from the cutouts. So now I'm uh, going to create my sentiment and for that I just uh, used three cutouts of the word friend that I stuck one on top of the other for extra dimension. 
Now I'm going to embellish my card by using all the flowers that I have cut out earlier. And remember that there are more layers for these flowers, so you can even stamp a smaller center. But instead I was planning to use my Nouveau Drops, and as you can see I'm adding some white dots at the center. And that finishes the second card for today. For my next card, I'm going to use the most adorable stamp set ever. So this is Bubbles with Joy. I have stamped two of those bunnies that are blowing bubbles. And I have uh, colored them with my alcohol markers and cut them out of the matching dies. Now I'm using um, the new stencil with the rays. And I'm going to apply some uh, Distress Oxide ink with my new Distress brushes. These are blending brushes, they are not out of the market yet, but uh, they will be soon. You can always use your blending tool to do that. I'm going to mix two different colors of Distress Oxide ink, so I used a little bit of yellow, and now at the center I'm going to make it a little bit darker with some orange. Now I'm going to remove the stencil for the big reveal, and I always like to do that. So you see that I have a beautiful background there, in a panel that is slightly smaller than the standard card. Now I'm going to use a die and cut out the center of this panel. And you can turn this design into a shaker card easily, although I'm not going for a shaker card now. So here I'm just adding a little bit of inking in a piece of scrap paper, and this is going to be the background for that uh, hole. I used foam squares to put these two papers together, and now I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base. And I'm going to nest both my bunnies coming out from that uh, center. Now I'm going to use some foam squares at the back, you know I love dimension. And I just love how bright and happy this uh, card looks. I am totally in love with those bunnies. I have also uh, stuck down those bubbles and I am coloring them a little bit now, just adding a touch of uh, blue on one side. And my card is pretty much ready, all that's left to do is to stick the sentiment. For that I decided to go with one that says, You bring me joy that I have uh, white embossed on a black piece of cardstock. Finally, I used my clear Nouveau Drops to add some shine on the bubbles as well as a few dots here and there, and my card is finished. Now I'm working on a watercolor paper, and for my next card, I'm preparing this panel. I, again, I'm going for an ombre look by using my Distress Oxide ink, and that's Broken China. I made sure that I used some uh, post tape on the sides, so I leave that uh, white border. I really like this because I feel that it looks more finished. And now I'm going to use the, a couple of owls from uh, the Owl My Love stamp set. So in the stamp set there are actually three different sizes of owls. I went with the middle size and the smaller one. And uh, I'm going to stamp a couple of branches, a few of the leaves, the clouds, as well as the speech bubble. I am stamping everything with black archival ink because I will be doing some uh, water coloring later on. So I need to make sure that nothing is going to smudge on me. I did all the coloring with my Aqua Flow brushes by Nuvo, and instead of coloring directly with the brush, I am adding a little bit of uh, that color on my glass mat, and I'm picking it with a brush. This way I get um, a more pale look, and I can control the flow better. So you can see here I have colored all my images and used the matching dies to cut them out. Here I'm just trying to decide where everything is going to go, and once I'm happy with the layout, I can then go ahead and commit by sticking everything down. As always, I'm using uh, foam squares just to add a little bit of dimension, and I like the speech bubble where you can fit in one of the uh, sentiments included in the same stamp set that says, Hello lovely! A very quick and easy card, and uh, now I'm going to stick this panel directly on top of my card base. For that I'm using a really beautiful shade of uh, cardstock that matches perfectly with the colors of my card. And my card is ready.
For this card, I'm going to use this adorable stamp set. You know I love cards. This is called Love You Forever. I'm picking three of those cards to stamp them. And uh, I'm not going to do lots of coloring here. I'm just going to keep those uh, three cuts white by adding just a touch of uh, pink on uh, their cheeks and uh, their ears, as well as the lightest of uh, the gray colors that I have for adding a little bit of shading. Then I'm going to use the matching dies to cut them out. This is definitely my favorite from all the cards that I created today. Make sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite when you finish watching the video. Now I'm playing with my Distress Oxide inks and I'm trying to create an ombre look here using uh, yellow and uh, orange. And this is what the piece of uh, paper that I'm going to use to cut out the word yay. I'm also going to add some splashes and then blot it with some uh, cloth. And um, when I cut out those letters, you will that I will have a beautiful ombre look. Of course, you can always cut them out of white uh, cardstock and then do that look later on. And now I'm working on another area of this uh, scrap paper and doing the exact same thing. So I'm using two shades of pink, a lighter and a darker one, again with my Distress Oxide inks. I'm trying to create a very pale looking area. Again, I'm adding some splashes with water, bloated with my cloth, and this is the area that I'm going to use to cut out my, pain, my basic panel. I'm going to use one of those rectangle, uh, elegant rectangle dies, and now I can stick the letters Y on top of this panel, just to make sure that I have uh, them positioned correctly, I use the cutout as a template. Now I can remove that and I have everything perfectly positioned. Now I have uh, three cuts ready to go and each one of them is going to embellish every one of those letters. So I'm going to use some uh, foam squares at the back and I'm going to position them. The first one is going to go on top of the letter Y. I'm going to place one at the front and I'm also going to use the third one standing on top of the letter A. I have already white embossed my sentiment and that comes from the same stamp set as the little cuts that's uh, white embossed on uh, a black strip of uh, cardstock and finally I'm going to stick this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I chose to go with a pink card base since that matches perfectly the colors on my card. Now for my next card, I'm going to work with the triangle stencil and uh, I have masked off some of the triangles there so that I don't end up making a mess and I'm going to work with my Distress Oxide inks on watercolor paper. I find that uh, these inks blend beautifully on top of watercolor paper and um, when I do the splashes technique at the end, uh, it lifts the color beautifully from that paper. This is actually a cold press watercolor paper and... Um, I'm going to add some uh, triangles, there is no rhyme or reasoning on whatever I'm doing here, just uh, adding some uh, triangles totally randomly on top of my panel. And I used just two colors, a pink and a yellow one for these triangles at the beginning. I am making sure also that some of the triangles overlap one another just for some added interest. And then I will go ahead and use a darker shade to add some shading on each of those triangles. So for the yellow ones, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, orange on their base. And for the pink ones, I'm going to go with uh, darker pink to shade it a little bit more. Now that I have my background ready, all I did was to stick the word friend that I have die cut from black cardstock. I'm also going to add that uh, little dot there that I'm fighting with. And then I also uh, white embossed my sentiment that goes along with the word friend. And it says you are seriously the best. So I'm going to stick that on top of my standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And my card is ready. A really quick and easy card, just use your favorite color combo and you will have a beautiful card in no time. Now let's move on to the next card and for that I'm going to use the new stamp set with the dinosaurs. I'm going to create a really fun card now. I'm going to stamp one of the dinosaurs and I'm going to color him with my alcohol markers and uh, I then use the matching dice to cut him out. 
Now for the background of my little scene, I'm going to go with those volcano dyes and uh, I'm going to cut out the volcano, the lava and um, the fire, which I'm going to combine later on for my card. You can cut everything out from uh, colored cardstock. Instead, I just uh, colored my uh, cardstock on my own by using my Distress Oxide ink since I had them all out from the previous cards. And I'm going to create the background where I'm going to stick everything and put everything together there. So I'm using a masking tape just to um, somehow separate the ground from the sky. And I'm combining here two Distress Oxide inks, the, that's uh, Spiced Marmalade along with uh, Fired Brick to create a lovely sky. Now I'm going to lift off that masking tape and put it at the top. And then I'm going to ink the bottom with Vintage Photo. And I'm also going to blend in a little bit of Fired Brick at the bottom, which is going to bring all those colors together. Now when I'm working with Distress Oxide ink on top of watercolor paper, I cannot resist to do the splashing technique. So I'm adding some uh, water here, blot it with my cloth, and I just love how that looks at my background. Now all I have to do is to just stick all those little cutouts and create my little scene. So here is my volcano with the fire coming out. And since that uh, volcano is far at the background, I did use some uh, tape adhesive at the back. Now for my dinosaur, I used foam squares to bring him more into frame and to add some dimension. And I'm going to stick down the lava coming out of my volcano. And my card is pretty much finished. All that's left to do is to add the sentiment. That is a white embossed on a black piece of cardstock and it says have a lovely day and it comes from the tiny little stamp set that has adorable stamp uh, sentiments which is called Lava You. I'm going to stick this panel on top of a black card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half and my card is ready. And now I'm going to create a very clean and simple card. I'm going to use the celebratory banners. And this is a set of two dies. So one of them, the one I'm using at the moment, is uh, just adding a lovely stitching on your paper. It's not going to cut out anything. I'm going to use it three times on uh, this uh, white panel just to add the stitching, which is going to serve as the string for the banners that I'm going to add later on. And then I'm going to use the other die to cut out tons of banners using scraps from uh, pattern papers that I already have. Now I have cut out a bunch of uh, triangles and they are really easy to cut out. You can use a, a couple of papers with one passing and the die actually cuts out uh, nine uh, banners each time. So you can cut them all in no time. Now I'm trying to decide where everything is going to go. So I'm trying to, I'm playing around with the order of the colors. And once I'm happy with the placement, I will go ahead and stick everything down. For doing so, I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe white glue. And if you are wondering what I am using for uh, lifting all those tiny little pieces, this is a wax pencil. It is actually used for nail art, but uh, it's really inexpensive. You can find it easily on Amazon. And it really is a lifesaver when it comes to picking up uh, tiny little pieces like these ones. My sentiment comes from the Beautiful Day stamp set and it says have a beautiful day and notice how I placed this on a curve on my stamping block so it actually follows the curve of the string. I'm going to pick pink for my card base but you can use any color of the banners and my card is ready. So here is a photo of the last card along with the rest of the cards that I created for today. I hope you had fun that you got inspired as I was playing with the latest released products by my favorite things. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of all those cards was your favorite. Thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you all tomorrow with a really fun event and until then have a great day!